Hi, I'm Matt, and in the last video I showed you how this is preferable to something like this. And this type here was created by creating a style for this label, or this heading level label. We called it heading one, set the properties like this, and then automatically generated a style with that name, which just automatically applies the style. The way I did that was by setting a property on the style file using the custom tool Maui Style Generator. And that came from an extension, which is called XAML Style Types. However, I'm going to show you something new now. So we create a new project. So here in our brand new project, we can go in and we can create a similar sort of thing in our style file again. So we'll add our custom style into this file and I'll save it. And obviously nothing happens again, so we've not told it to use our custom tool for the extension. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a you get a package. The package I'm going to add is called rapid code gen dot Maui. There it is. This one here, and we'll just install it in the project. And in doing that, we now get our style.cs thing again, and it looks exactly as before. We also have our colors one. If we come over to NewGate Gallery, you can see here in the file is all the details of how the extra configuration you can do. So you can configure uh, which files are included, the namespace, and a few other things as well. Obviously, as you just saw, all this is up on GitHub. But because we can do it with NuGet, we can do the same thing elsewhere. So here I am in a new project inside Visual Studio Code. Again, I've just added this custom style, but we have no extra CS files. If I come to the Solution Explorer view, uh, it makes it easier to add a package reference. And again, it's rapid. Uh, rapid XAML code gen Maui, that's the one. While it's installed, we'll switch back to the File Explorer view. And when that finishes, we can see we have extra styles. Also, not just when we install the package. So let's say we had a heading two as well. Which way to heading level two? Maybe it's a little bit smaller. I can save this file. Now the C sharp file doesn't get automatically updated. But if I rebuild, do that way, we can see the file does get updated. And it's not just Visual Studio Code, obviously. Here we have Rider. We could do exactly the same thing again. I can add a package here. Imagine uh, you get packages. Oh, yeah. Rapid XAML. Go to Maui, install it here. Successfully installed. Give it a moment of thinking time. No, it didn't build automatically. Oh, it did. It's still busy in the background. Here we go. We have our C sharp file again. Uh, and obviously our colors file had a load of defined colors and brushes. And now we have a C sharp file, which lists all the names of those if we needed to refer to them. But what we have is the same functionality as I showed you last time. But this time, all I need to do is add a NuGet package, which means it works everywhere. You don't have to install a separate extension. Hopefully you'll find that really useful and really a good way to have less code in your XAML files, which is the goal, makes them easier to read, understand, maintain, support, all the things that you know you don't normally associate with XAML files. But let's make that better. If you've got feedback, I'd love to hear it. Obviously you can leave comments below. You can come to GitHub, leave a comment there, leave it a raise an issue, suggestion, some feedback, whatever you want to do. Um, and obviously hit the star, hit the sponsor heart if you can. Sponsors are lovely, they help me make fun projects like this. Hopefully that's of interest. I'd love to know your thoughts and um, check out my other videos. Thanks.